on today's episode, we're going to be talking about the comic book movies of 2016. Welcome to the comics panel. This is Mike. Grogan. And Andy. So we're talking about the the comic book movies of 2016. So Grogan, what do we have coming up? We have Deadpool, February 12th. Batman vs. Superman. Uh, That is March 25th. Civil War, May 6th. X-Men Apocalypse, May 27th. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, June 3rd. Uh, Suicide Squad, August 5th. Gambit possibility release of October 7th. Uh, we have The Sinister Six, November 11th, and Doctor Strange, November 4th. So that's the what we got. What movies, what movie, what one movie do you think is going to be pivotal for that franchise character? And, and why? Or is it going to hurt the character? Well, I think the one that is going to be uh, the most on the fence and the biggest risk is Deadpool because I mean there's a lot of Deadpool fans but it's not near to what the other movies are with Superman Batman or X-Men or even Spider-Man this movies is- and I think if he's going to be breaking the fourth wall um, there's going to be it could be very done very well and it's going to be a fun movie and it's going to be full of action which I'm pretty sure it's going to be oh. I, I'm, I'm I'm from what I've seen I'm pretty excited about it but at the same time it, if it's a little too ridiculous um, it might turn a couple people off, and you know, after the first couple weeks, when the Deadpool fans are out there, uh, it might end up tanking. Hopefully, it won't, because I'd like to, you know, continue to see uh, superhero movies, Marvel movies, DC movies do well. Um, some will be better than others, but I'd like to see them all do well, so we can continue this. This was definitely a fan-driven movie. Oh, absolutely, you know, so yeah, absolutely. Hopefully- people have been asking for it. Uh, you know, a long time, and and there are a lot of Deadpool fans out there. But like I said, there's not as many people that might be, you know, if people didn't know who Superman or didn't really follow Superman would still go see a Superman movie because they know what was. to expect. They know it's going to be an adventure movie. Deadpool, if they're not real sure who the character is, and they go see the movie and they don't know the kind of things that the Deadpool character does. Um, well, one thing you know. Explain to the nine people that watch our videos. Uh, what is the fourth wall? You know, some people don't know what the fourth uh, wall is. They call it breaking the fourth wall. Basically, what it is is the character will talk to the reader, or if, if it's in a movie, he'll be looking directly at the audience and like cluing them in on what's really going on in his head, or talking to them and, and pulling them, pulling them into the story in in a little bit different way, rather than just being an observer. And watching this or reading it um, kind of incorporates a little bit more. Um, done correctly, if you're following the story, he'll make a comment, or anybody will make a comment that is what's going through your head at the time. Right. Like uh, Peter Parker's he, thought bubbles. It's always good to yeah. hear what's going on because you don't have to try to second guess what that hero is doing. He is telling you yeah. just before that interaction. Uh, but and, and but he's actually he knows you're there watching. He knows you're reading. He's He's aware of, of someone observing this, and he talks to you or, or that kind of thing. Parks and Recreation, Modern Family, The Office. Oh, yeah, yeah, It's yeah. just it's, like it's, that. This isn't And unique, so if you like really, those shows, you should go watch it just for that. So hopefully Deadpool, you know, non-Deadpool fans I think it's just going to be a little bit different movie than what people have been seeing in the last few years. Because as far it's as R-rated. Movie. Because it's R-rated, yeah, that too. that could hurt it a little bit, too. But we'll it, also, it also we'll gives them what they need to do to really bring the Deadpool character to life. They need If, if yeah. they yes. do it correctly, um, you know, Deadpool is, is great when it's written well and it's fun and it really engages the reader in, in a little bit different way. But if it's not really done in a great way, it's just kind of ridiculous. Yeah. So I think that's going to be the one that's at the biggest risk. And you know why? You know, you know why it's coming out in February? Those movies that come out in February, the test market, as I was reading this one article, February release dates are test for films that they don't want to give uh, a big push to. Big push in the summer block office, yeah. Uh, yeah. Box, o- box office sense. type stuff. So that shows you that even the the, the movie company is a little scared. Well, little yeah, scared. Uh, that's what I mean. I think that's the biggest risk um, that we'll see. 
you know, it, it might be one of, I don't know. Well, let's we'll make sure see. everybody it, it gets out like there. It seems like it's going to be good. I know Ryan Reynolds. I, it's going to be fantastic. The guy I want to play the role. He's so, good. So, I mean, and he I He plays I, a I, great smartass. Yeah, yeah, he does. Uh, and from I, the previews. He's the perfect guy for that. And I like the previews, but, you know, it's like I said, be, I just I can, think it's going to be the thing that's the biggest I will tell you one thing. It's going to be no Fantastic Four, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a lot better. Lots better. Okay, how about your movie? What do you choose? I am looking forward to Civil War. Yes. From what I understand, it's the same people that are producing Civil War that did uh, Winter Soldier. And Winter Soldier, in my opinion, uh, beat the Avengers in my favor. I mean, Avengers was good, the first one. Yeah. The second one, I thought a little something was, was missing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but this was on par with, was good, but... with, with Guardians of the Galaxy and, and the Avengers. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Plus, I read online, you, you remember in the original comic book series... Peter Parker, Spider-Man with the iron suit yeah. he made. I read on, I think it was News Rama, I'm um, not positive, is either that or, or another comic book review, that there was a negotiation made with Sony, and there, the question is, are we going to see the Iron Man, the Iron Spider, Spider. The the iron iron Spider. Spider in the movie? So They said that's going to happen. I that's going to be pretty cool. And plus, I think Black Panther has an appearance in that as oh, yes, well. Oh, yes, he does, so well, everybody they're, should show. Yeah, they're be, they're really, gearing we, up. We, we sh- even if it's just glimpses of other yeah. characters, with maybe one line or so. Well, the preview that's out there has has of course Scarlet Witch. You have Black Panther. You have Falcon Iron Man, Power. Captain America, uh, Winter you, Soldier. You should be able to see all kinds of things. So the I action mean, is intense. Big. And a lot of Easter yeah. eggs for future movies coming sure. up. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. If they, yeah. You're going to see Thanos. You know that's going to be stepped up. I mean, the the good thing is about that movie is. There's there's no groundwork to lay like who these characters are. They can just get right into the action right off exactly. the bat. Yeah, yeah. And that's going to be awesome because we don't have to wait for that. Um, it's so, story driven more so, than yeah. character. The, the risk for Marvel is not that bad. Plus, yeah, yeah. It, you know, it's it's coming out in May, summertime yeah. blockbusters. And like you said, the Cap movies were fantastic. They're probably my favorite yeah. Marvel movies. Both the first one, you know, first Avenger and Winter Soldier. Really, just well, not just good movies. But but, you know, really good stay to the core character, um, just done well. And plus Captain America fighting for, you know, what he believes truly yeah, is right. Yeah. That and, one and, scene with Captain America fighting Iron Man mm-hmm. with the Winter Soldier where they exchange the shields, exchange yeah. punches. That action scene alone says enough that oh, you should see it. Oh, yeah. A lot of the early Marvel movies, like the first Iron Man, the first Avengers, and, and the, Cap- the two Captain Americas, they really kept close to the values of what made those characters and stories successful. So that's, I'm hoping that the other rest of the Marvel movies going forward, learn from that and don't deviate and just keep moving forward in that yeah. positive Try direction. to stay as true to the character as you can. Yeah. Well, my movie, Suicide Squad. Nice. That's going to be the best, I think. As far as DC fans who wanted to see some great action movies of a bunch of bad guys, especially Joker, Harley Quinn, yeah, I mean Harley Quinn especially first time on the screen. How can you not wait for to see her going crazy? Yeah, you know the other ga- characters. You know I, I'm not terribly caring about. I just want to see Harley Quinn so much on this. And I mean I know there's the Enchantress, Deadshot, uh, El Diablo, Katana, Killer Croc, Katana. Katana. Kill- Killer Croc should be pretty good. Yeah, he looks intense in yeah. the previews. Then they have uh, Boomer, Captain Boomerang, Captain Boomerang yeah. yeah, and then the Slipknot yep. and Slipknot, yeah. And the Enchantress, who is June, right? Did I say yeah, Enchantress? Enchantress. Okay. Enchantress? So a lot of great characters that we have not seen on film. So this is a reason that if any fanboy, yeah. fangirl should be excited, it's like, oh, get out to see that. Yeah. You're going to see these characters. I think yeah. Suicide Squad is one of the best yeah. things DC's putting out right now, too. If you're, if you're not reading it, pick it up. Um, and it's really good. Also, if you're a fan of the TV show Arrow, a lot of those characters, uh, Deadpool, I mean, not one of them, Deadpool, Deadshot, Deadshot and... Uh, Amanda Waller are coming up, you know, from the TV show Arrow are also, you know, characters revamped for the big screen. But again, if you're not familiar uh, with the book yeah. and you're familiar with the TV show and you like those characters, definitely worthwhile to check out the movie. And the good thing is DC's finally getting it right. Let's just put yeah. that out there. Yeah. Yep. All the times they were putting out terrible movies, you know, characters that, you know, everything flopped. They could never get a Wonder Woman movie off the ground. Now they're finally doing this stuff. They're seeming to get it right. And this, even the previews were awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna can. I'm gonna go out on a prediction here for the movies with the Suicide Squad. I think the Suicide Squad could potentially be 
what Guardians of the Galaxy yes, was did. to Marvel. Yeah, I True. agree. Yeah, because a group of characters you, that, you that knew, maybe but maybe not, not a whole lot, lot of people yeah. know about, but we'll be. It's going to be a great. It's movie. nice. It's going to be cool to see the anti-hero thing going on. Yeah. Just um, like the Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah. they're anti. Yeah. And the great thing about them is there's nothing rules that they have to go by. Where Superman has no kill policy except for Zod, and and they screw up. Yeah, and they screw <laughs> up. And Batman, the same thing. They're, but, but these yeah, guys, they're. I mean, just crazy yeah, enough. they can kind of, they're really flexible as right. far as what they do. So when you watch them. it, you don't know what's going to happen because you can predict, yeah. well, Batman's just going to break that guy's arm and then put him in jail. No. Come on, or Harley Batman Quinn. will figure it out. Or, right. Yeah. Exactly. Or and somebody's going to get shot. Somebody might die, you know, and if a character they feel that's not being developed enough or feels that it could be just cannon fodder, they'll say, we're going to kill that character. Goodbye. And when they killed Zod... Even Supergirl got it right. Superman doesn't kill. Yeah, yeah, Superman doesn't kill. She didn't see that movie, obviously. <laughs> yeah. She didn't see that. So, I think we pretty much covered all the movie stuff. I think so, yeah. Okay. And it's Sinister Six, for you guys who don't know, who Sinister Six that's new to the comic books, that is a Spider-Man title. Yeah, yeah. Spider-Man Sinister villains. Sinister Six are villains, yep. So, and that yeah. could be pretty good. That could, you know. Sure. That could I, be I like the thing. Sinister Six. Done well, yeah. A- any movie done well does well, yeah. as well, you know. Yeah. But they're good characters, though, too. 100%. Well, if you're tired of the same old story, turn some comic book pages and please leave comments in the box below. And you like us on YouTube. And like and us on Facebook. Subscribe to our Facebook. Thanks. Thank you.